morning, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Metro Manila Arena here in the Philippines for tonight's main event. Ten rounds in the heavyweight division. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. And he's a across the way. The Warrior! All right, fellas. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. The warrior is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target. Get the combination working, land both punches. Now there's the jab. The Warriors landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. There you go. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Keep going. The Warriors rocked by a huge hook to the head. A barrage of punches now. The Warriors getting back to basics. A good, solid jab. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Thomas is putting forth an effort, but he's not being effective in that regard. No, he's not. He's not landing when he needs to land. And it kind of reminds me, he's a banger too. He can punch a little. It reminds me of an old saying that a trainer once told me. It doesn't mean anything to have a big punch. It's kind of like having a military weapon, a bomb. What good is it if you don't have a missile to get it to the target? Right now, he needs a missile to get that punch. He needs to set it up, and he's not doing that. Good return fire that time. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Left hook, right hand, well done, especially to the body. That's a good hook by Thomas. He stays committed to the body. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Thomas's opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. Get him, get him. Good combination to the body. Flush right hand to the head. The ghost is able to avoid that punch. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Well played, straight right hand. Good way to protect the midsection. Comes right back at him with a left hand. You had to That's see it. it to believe it the first two minutes of these rounds. Now these fighters are trying to make everybody a believer in the final 60 seconds. And this is why you understand the dimension of this sport. 
like no other sport. At the end of this, how both participants will have mutual great respect for each other. And he returns on that exchange. Defense can turn into offense. The counter punch by the Ghost. The Ghost is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. The trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. We come to the end of this round. Teddy, a round in which maybe a lot of trainers don't like to see because it was a very busy round for both guys. Well, it depends what kind of style, what kind of strength your fighter has, or even what kind of weaknesses. If I had a guy who likes to box, who likes to counter punch, I want a guy coming at him. Not with a lot of TNT in his gloves, but coming forward where my guy is well suited, he can pick him off a little bit. Good job on the two-punch combo by Thomas. The ghost tagged by a hook. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. You gotta protect yourself. He got hit, but he sends it right back. The Warriors combination punching working out well there. He landed three solid shots. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. The Warriors putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. You know, that jab is so basic, so simple, but as you can see, so very effective for him early on in this fight. Yeah, well, he's telling his opponent, you're not coming onto my property. You know, I have a dog here, and this dog bites. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. The Warriors doing well here with that two-punch combination. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Go get him! Big uppercut right on the mark. And now he's targeting upstairs. The Warriors jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. No doubt about it. Losing his fight, throw that big shot. Not the guy. Counter punch. Whenever he misses, counter. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep the jab pumping and throw the lead right hand, all right? And you are winning this fight. All right, let's look at Teddy's scorecard after three rounds, and you can see that he's up by just a round. But I think it's fair to say that it's anybody's fight at this point. Thomas is not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. shot but he gives one of his own a left hand scores go, go. halfway through round number four Come on, keep the ghost getting himself into the mix now landing that left hand Comes right back with a shot of his own.
Thomas is putting forth a little boom, 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 a three-punch combination score. The Warriors on the bad end of a flush, solid hook. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Right hand followed by a very well-placed left hook to the body. The Warriors doing a really nice job here. I mean, putting his punches together. This is what you're supposed to look like as an offensive fighter. Yes, it is, especially when you have a guy in front of you putting the earmuffs on. You know, you cover up the way that his opponent is. You're supposed to put them together. One or two are going to be blocked. But when you put them together like that, they're going to get through. This has been a hotly contested war throughout. And you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for the rope right from the beginning. Capitalize on his misses, OK? I need you to keep busy. I need more than one punch now. This fight is even. So I need to see more than one punch out the corner. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. What a smart combination by Thomas. Good exchange. He fires back. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Trying to take away the wheels, going to the body with the double jab. Don't let him get he takes a kid. shot and then commits to giving one right back. Good combination to the head. Nice block. Side to side. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. What a chin. Can you believe the shots this guy's absorbing? And more importantly, can his opponent believe it? You know what? You want to hit a guy. So you figure that that's a good thing. That's an encouraging thing. This is a case where his opponent might get discouraged just by seeing his guy take those kind of shots. Now committing to that jab, straight hand, and it works out. A target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. The Warrior is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by the Ghost. Thomas's right hand working well that time. He scored well. And this round comes to an end. The Ghost trainer right now is telling him, hey, we can pull this fight out. You may be trailing. There's not much left, but it's still there. You can still go out there and get this win. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. That's it. second half of this fight has now arrived. Oh, uh, you see him with the left of the head there? The Warriors' strategy has been to control things on the outside. And the jab fits perfectly into it. Yeah, what it's done is it's set up his defense, it's kept his opponent defensive, kept him off balance, off stride. And it's also set up his power shots whenever he's wanted to. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Ahead, 
Landing two jabs by Thomas. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. The Warriors doing a good job tonight on the outside. He's able to score from the outside, keeping a safe distance away from his opponent. Thomas is so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. The Warriors showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. And now he's targeting upstairs. The Ghost's taking a lot of punishment with the right hand. Teddy, you've said many times, it's where you put your own head when you get hit by those right hands. Well, one place I can tell you where not to put it, in the middle. And he needs to move it to the left, outside that right hand. Three minutes gone by in this round. Thomas is in position to pull this out. And you can see his corner man is telling him just that. Don't worry about the fact that it's a close fight. Go out there and win it here in these later stages. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. The Warriors combination punching is working well here. Little head knocking with that right hand. Boy, that worked out well with the uppercut. Well placed right hands from both men. The Warriors, the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target. Get the combination working, land both punches. There's a straight right hand. That's a forceful two-punch combo by the Ghost. The Warrior's objective is to land that jab, and he did so right there. Teddy, I know you swear by it, and we're seeing it right in front of us. Good fighter, likes to fight on the outside, who's having a stellar night with that jab. Hey, look, if you're going to be an accountant, you better know man. You better know how to add. You're going to be a good fighter, as far as I'm concerned. You better have a good jab. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counterpunching. To the head he goes and lands well with the right hand left hook combo. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. The Warriors landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. The ghost movement is really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Move away from the ropes. And that's the end of round seven. We're losing this fight. You gotta pick it up. You hear me? Pick it up. We got it. All right. We need to create more count. Okay. Breathe now. Deep breath. Deep breath. Holy shit, you are in control of this fight, man. Don't get careless out there, right? Just, just keep boxing smart. You have to start throwing in volume in there. Start of round number eight, Teddy. He does have a lead on your scorecard. The Warriors been able to do what he wants in these middle rounds, but with only a few rounds left, he cannot afford a mistake. Well, those are the rounds, you know, a lot of people call those late rounds, the championship rounds, whatever you want to call them. They're the rounds that you get tested. They're the rounds that separate people, separate ordinary fighters from top fighters. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. The Warriors putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. 
Thomas is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Excellent hook by Thomas. The halfway point of round number eight. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. You get the sense that they know no other way how to fight. They are going at it, back and forth, toe to toe, punch for punch. Warriors doing well here with that two-punch combination. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Really broke. Solid. Weight going to this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? Somehow, some way, he's gonna continue on here. And if he's gonna stay in this fight, now he's gotta avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. There's the combo downstairs. End of the round. A round in which a knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, if you're the trainer in the corner of the guy scoring the knockdown, what are some of the things you wanna remind him of? You wanna remind him how he got there because a lot of times it's the tendency to just remember the punch that put him there. He dressed him up. He set that punch up. Don't think about just the punch that landed. Think about the setup punches. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Keep doing what you're doing. You won that round, all right? You won that. Start of a new round, and I give credit to his corner. The Warriors' quartermen did a really good job, after a round in which their fighter was knocked down, of just being calm and cool. The way they're supposed to be. You know, we always talk about the fighter having to be calm and the experience that a fighter has. Well, that corner has plenty of experience. They just showed it. Showing you some defense there with the block. The Warriors so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. A barrage of punches that time, good combination. Yeah, that's what you want. You don't want one at a time, you want three or four. Each man getting the best of it. The Warriors showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. That makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. He missed with that headshot. Commits to the straight right. The Warriors at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. So he went down earlier, and yet he's still fighting with the same kind of style, the same kind of disposition he was fighting with before the knockdown. If I'm the opponent, maybe that's a sign to me that, hey, maybe I didn't hurt the guy that much. Or maybe it's a sign that this son of a gun is just very predictable. He can't change. And maybe I'm going to have a party tonight because I'm going to keep catching with the same thing until he takes it away from me. That's a good point. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. The Warriors taking a rest between rounds here, and as he does, it gives us a chance to look at the fight overall because I think now that what you have is a good, really strong, evenly matched fight that he's up on. Yeah, I think so, but he shouldn't think that. You know, it's okay for us to think that, and his trainer, more importantly, shouldn't let him think that. He should tell him, this is the way a little psychology 101 might come in. You know, I don't say you tell him you're behind, but you say, hey, it's a dead-even fight. 
win the rest of these rounds. Oh, it's been a good one tonight. But one more round to go. Here it is, the final go round. Look at that combination by Thomas. Good-looking right hand after he got hit. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the... And yet another big shot comes in. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now. He needs them right now. The Warriors impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. He is very much being tested here, even though he's likely up on the scorecards. He's getting a real test here. Yeah, Joe, a test that will serve him in the future. If he goes on to win this fight, which I think he will, he's going to take what he learned here today, what he gained here today, and it's going to serve him as he moves forward in his career. Right to the head with that right. The Ghost's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Jab right hand. well the Warriors coming through now beautifully that is oh wow is this good stuff what good stuff he just scored the knockdown after being knocked down earlier Joe that's incredible and the knockdown earlier actually set up this knockdown because his opponent he got a little reckless a little careless the fight is over but now the debate begins who won that fight this is where you hope that the criterion the score in the fight is understood by the judges because if there's any gray area, you're going to be all over the place in this one. Very hard to pick a winner. A unanimous decision. Teddy, your scorecard falls in line, and everybody here in the arena knows exactly what happens. In yeah, this was an easy one. I mean, I think that you would have had a big problem with the crowd, not to mention me, your broadcaster right here, if these judges gave any other way. I'm Joe Tessitore for Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us and enjoy the rest of your night.